Operational Boars, more commonly known by the code name Operation Command 99 was an operation launched by the Iranian Air Force in retaliation to Iraqi surprise aerial attacks on Iran the day before. Involving nearly 200 aircraft, it is considered the largest operation carried out by the Iran Air Force. The outcome was clearly successful, as the Iranians achieved air superiority for the first years of the conflict. Welcome to the second episode of our series of the Iran-Iraq War. If you like documentary war simulation, don't forget to check out our channel. On 22 and September 23, 1980, Iraq launched surprise airstrikes on strategic locations in Iran employing a total of 166 to 192 fighter and bomber aircraft for a total of 250 sorties. At 1.45 p.m. local time, six Iraqi MiG-23 floggers bombed an Iranian airbase near Avaz. Half an hour later, Iraqi MiG-23s attacked Mirabad Airport in Tehran. At the same time the Iraqis also bombed eight other major airbases in Iran. Radio Baghdad asks Iranian pilots to defect to Iraq in a message after this operation. However, having learned from the Six-Day War, Iran had built hardened aircraft shelters where most of its combat aircraft were stored, thus the Iraqis succeeded mainly in cratering Iranian runways, without causing any significant damage to Iran's air force. Now the Iranian air force started preparing for a counter-attack which was to be launched the next day. Two hours after this Iraqi attack, the Iranian Air Force conducted Operation Revenge bombing Sheba, Um Khazar and Qut air bases in Iraq. According to many pilots who took part in the operations, both the President Operation Revenge and this subsequent Operation Command 99 were planned before the Islamic Revolution by the previous Imperial Iranian Air Force as a rapid response in case a conflict broke out with Iraq during the 1974-75 Shad al-Arab clashes. On September 23, 1980, Iran launched Operation Command 99 as 40 F-4 Phantoms, took off from Hamadan Air Base. After refueling in mid-air the Phantoms reached the Iraqi capital Baghdad, where they attacked Al-Rashid, Habaniya and Qut Air Bases. Meanwhile, eight more F-4s took off from Tehran's Mehrabad and launched a second attack on the Al-Rashid Air Base. Iran launched 58 F-5E Tiger IIs from Tabriz Air Base, which were sent to attack Mosul Air Base. After the attack on Mosul Air Base, 50 F-5S attacked Nazi Riyah Air Base, which was heavily damaged. Also 12 F-4 fighter bombers from Bushehr Air Base bombed Sheba Air Base. As all 148 Iranian F-4s and F-5s had been sent for a bombing raid on Iraq, 60 F-14 Tomcats were scrambled to defend Iranian airspace against a possible Iraqi retaliation. Iranian F-14s managed to down two Iraqi MiG-21s and three Iraqi MiG-23s. An Iranian F-5E also shot down an Iraqi Suko-20 during the operation. Involved in the operation, was the entire Iran Air Force operational fleet at that time. Saddam Hussein and the Iraqi military were dealt a heavy blow when Iranian Air Force vulnerabilities failed to materialize. All Iraqi airbases near Iran were rendered inoperable for months and, according to Iran, Iraq's aerial efficiency was reduced by 55%. According to most observers, this is one of the biggest air battles in history. This operation, allowed the Iranians to regroup and prepare for the upcoming Iraqi invasion. However, Iraqis would advance deep into Khuzestan and it would take the Iranians up to two years before they would finally expel the Iraqis from their territory and eventually enter Iraq. The war endured another six years, becoming the longest conventional war of the 20th century in which perhaps close to one million were maimed and killed.
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.